Hello, I'm Steve Barr. Um, I'm here to talk about a serious subject that's very dear to my heart, and it's drug addiction and a uh, new modality that will treat it. Um, I'm going to leave my notes here because I, I got statistics and all kinds of crap that I'll put on my website and you can look at, but it's, it's out there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a bunch of numbers. I'm talking about your children dying out there from methamphetamine addiction, from cocaine addiction, from Oxycontin addiction. That's me on meth. Okay. Um, I had an opportunity. I, I'm 50 years old, and I've been a, a dyed in wool drug addict since the age of 12. I used 38 years. I've been incarcerated 24 times. I've had uh, been through five of the typical 30-day uh, rehabs, um, treatment centers. Been through 12 IOPs. I've had six DUIs, two marriages, one bankruptcy. This is my life. This is what my life was like for 38 years. And all of those therapies, all those modalities combined, um, since my first treatment was at the age of 17, none of them, none of them was sufficient to bring about a change in me to, to stop this madness until I went to a place called the Sundance Center out here in, uh, towards Fountain Hills, and I met a woman uh, Dr. Paula Artek, who is a PhD art therapist. Dr. Artek took me uh, and guided me in uh, artistic creativity. Um, one of the things, it's a holistic center out there. We do yoga, we do tai chi. This is what saved me. I've been on Suboxone, I've been on uh, an abuse, I've been uh, incarcerated, I've been in three insane asylums. <coughs> um, I've been homeless, I've been in halfway houses, I've been in uh, jail. I'm classified as a habitual offender and unrehabilitatable by the state of California. And I stand to you today, the CSO of GiveClicks.com, um, the executive director of Code Blue Arizona, and uh, the chairman and CEO of SGB Media Group. And I published 19 blogs. And, it's, and I attribute it entirely to art therapy. Everything else I've tried, I've, I've climbed more steps in 12-step programs than in Sears Tower and Eiffel Tower combined. Okay, I've done all that. I've done, I've been born again, died again, rebirthed, uh, hypnotherapy, EMDR therapy, you name it. None of those was sufficient to me. One of the reasons that art therapy is good for uh, addicts, addicts are very closed-minded people. They're, they're, they're very sheltered. They're within their own shell. Art therapy can bring that about. Uh, if they're too shy or too reserved to speak in, in a, uh, a group therapy situation or a 12-step meeting, all you need is a piece of paper and, and some, some paint. And it doesn't matter. This, these are actual, th th this one's haunting. This is an actual uh, watercolor done by somebody that I went through treatment with. These next series of slides are actual ones of people that I know personally. Um, this one's very, this is a very good friend of mine. Um, most addicts or alcoholics have some trauma bonding. It's called trauma bonding. Dr. Patrick Carnes did a lot of work on trauma bonding. Um, I see a butterfly in that one. I don't know what you see. Um, <coughs> um, so, uh, but, but through expression and art, you don't have to, to, to this one is, is the one that, that really changed me. This one was done by a 19-year-old girl that was gang raped repeatedly from the age of 13. She's sitting right now out in Tent City, um, serving a sentence for something she did while she was high on Oxycontin. Um, her parents have 15 cars in their garage, okay? But they got a little daughter who's 19 years old that's sitting out in Tent City for nine months. That's the way that, that this, this society is, what, where we place our values, what, where we put, put, put our money. <clears throat> this is where we should be doing it. We have, a, we have a county attorney that would rather arrest hardworking, albeit undocumented workers that are scrubbing our toilets in the public library in, in Mesa 
when I guarantee you within five minutes I could go down to that same public library, go two blocks away and get it, buy enough methamphetamine to, to overdose everybody in this room. It's time that we, we take a, a stand and, and what I'm going to do is I'm starting a, a nonprofit, 501 nonprofit called uh, Rehab Arts Studio and I'm going to be locating it down either on uh, Grand Avenue Arts Overlay or on Roosevelt Row and I thank you for your time.